Hey everybody, I'm going to go over how to do transforms or to transform things in a video editor in OpenShot. And I'll give you a little bit of context, a little bit of background. Uh, as a teacher, we had to make a bunch of videos because of COVID. And uh, another uh, a coworker of mine, a teacher friend, um, asked about how to update older videos with the new logo. Basically, we made a bunch of videos, and in a lot of cases, they were made with PowerPoint, and so they had the school's logo uh, PowerPoint frame along the bottom. And what she wanted to do was to take what she had done last year and just put the new logo in front of it. So I'm gonna go over that, and also one or two other quick things. Um, there's a lot of stuff you can do with video editors, and I'm just gonna hit on just two or three simple things. So I use OpenShot because it's open source, it's free, and it works pretty good for what I need it for. Um, there's a bunch of other ones. They all look pretty similar and work similarly. Um, but I'm going to go over OpenShot since that's what I use. So if you don't have it, to get it, open up Google and type in OpenShot Download. And the first thing that's going to come up is going to be this. Open it up. And there you go. You can download it. Uh, Notice that there's 64-bit and 32-bit, and then there's also a torrent, if you know what you're doing there. But also you can get it, and this is part of the reason why I like OpenShot, you can get it for Linux, Chrome OS, Mac OS X, or Windows, uh, which is awesome. So you can create something on Linux, and then work on it on Mac OS, and then export it on you know, Windows, whatever. So anyways, once you've got it, open it up, and what I'm going to do, uh, I've got a video here, that is on YouTube. Uh, it's about the software that I made, and it's, I think, the original version from a year and a half ago, uh, I believe. So anyways, I'm going to, uh, you know, where you see me down in the corner, I'm gonna get rid of that, I'm gonna replace it with an image. And where I've got my signature, which you see down in this corner, I'm gonna get rid of that on this sample video as well. And then I think what I'll do is I'll add a song in there. Uh, and so we'll go over those things. So open up open shot and then you want to take all of your raw stuff images video music and drop them into this sort of temp spot here so now I've got the video image song image and the way that this works with these tracks if you want something over top of another thing uh, then you'll have that in the track above it. With audio, if you put audio in for one of the tracks, it'll play, they'll both play. So, uh, whereas I've got my audio, my voice, uh, on the original video, I'm going to replace that with a song, just for the hell of it. Um, and then maybe I'll trim it a little bit as well. So, I know that I want these two images to go over the video itself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the video in the third track here so that I can put these two images in track, well, four and five. So I'll drop this down here. And I'm gonna shorten it up just because it's way longer than it needs to be for this demo. 12 minutes, I'm just gonna cut it back down. Uh, since this is just, again, a demo sample, I'll just cut it back to a couple minutes here, let's see. Yeah, five minutes looks good. I'm not gonna go through the entire process. I'm gonna go through how to set it up because the entire process would require waiting for it to encode. I'll show you how to encode, but I'm not gonna wait because usually for a five minute video, it's gonna probably take between three and five minutes to encode, depending on settings and what was done. And I don't wanna waste your time. You'll just have to sort of trust me that the end result looks like the preview. Now something to note here, the previews in a way kind of suck because they have to buffer. And on my computer, at least, my slow computer, um, it, it doesn't end up looking real time. So here's what I mean. Hey everybody, I wanted to show you a little project I'm working on. So this is called uh, Edubaji. I don't know if you hear those glitches and, and little delays and stuff, but that type of thing is, is what you get with a real time preview, uh, even with just this simple thing because my computer is so old. So at any rate, got the video now let's get rid of this here let's get rid of me in my sample video I'm still down in your corner but let's get rid of me in the sample video 
and I'm going to replace it with this pretty flower looking thing. So the first thing I'm going to do is set the flowers there. Now you see it's taken up the whole screen there, it's full size. We'll fix that in a minute, we'll transform it. But first, let's stretch it out so that it covers up the whole length of the video. And right about there, I believe. And we can zoom in and, and make sure that it's like perfect. Yeah, you see it's a little bit off. So what I can do, sort of trim. Back to about there. Yeah, that's good enough. So now I've got the flowers, the picture, and you see it's laid over top of the video, but it's way too big. And it's centered. I don't want it centered. I want it down here and small. So we're going to transform it. So make sure that the uh, cursor is at the beginning because here's the thing if I have the time slider say here, and I do transform, it will start that transformation from there. So in other words, it'll be large and then it'll zoom down into the corner. And I don't want that. I want it to just cover it the whole time for this demo. So bring the time slider back to the beginning. I'm gonna right click and do transform. And you see you get these blue dots. The first thing I wanna do is change the size. So let's shrink it down a little bit. Try to keep it to scale. All right. That's probably good enough, but now I want to move it physically so that it's down in the corner. So I'm going to grab this dot in the center, bring it right down there, and now I can just sort of line it up. Now if, if it's tough to see, you can actually make that larger, make that preview window larger. All right, that's a little bit easier. So here's our image. Let's bring it down to the corner here. So I'm gonna to try to cut off only what I need to cut off. I don't wanna cut off any extra if I don't have to. So, you kinda of gotta play with it and make sure that it's, uh, you know, get it to the right size as best you can. That's good enough, I think. All right, so I got one image in there. Now I want to bring this back so I can just sort of do like that, sort of drag it over back to where it was. So I've got the one image in there and I want to add the other image in there. And again, I'm going to cover up my name down here. So let's cover it up with this thing. Again, I want to make this take up the full length of the video. This, by the way, this plus minus is the scale, the time scale. And so, you can see that it's um, changing the number of uh, seconds between, uh, between these lines here. And that allows you to basically zoom in and out, but within time. So, let me drag that out there. I'm gonna put the slider here. I'm gonna zoom in there. And again, you can see it's way off terms of time. So, let's see, bring the slider over to there. It's still a little bit off, these aren't perfect. But what I would probably do is, uh, when I actually make videos, I would stretch them out a little bit further, and then once the video is completed, take that completed video and just trim off the last second or two with just a simple trim command, even using a different program, even using the regular video editor. Uh, then you get a nice clean break. But at any rate, let me cut this back some. There we go. And okay, all right. So good enough. So now I'm gonna zoom back out in time. Bring this back to the beginning. And now, again, this poster is huge. I don't need it that large. So let's right click, transform. I'm gonna zip it down in size. Zip isn't really the appropriate verb, but I'm gonna shrink it down in size. Bring it down here. Get it to a size and shape that I don't mind. Unfortunately, 
you can see that the aspect ratio is not locked. So you gotta be a little bit careful with that. But, there we are, that's good enough. I'm happy with that. Okay, bring the preview back. All right, now there's a bunch of other stuff I can do. For instance, you can even transform the actual video itself. If I were to right click and transform, I can shrink the video down and maybe put it up in the corner. Shrink another video down and put it over there. I can put one video on top of the other or partially cover it. There's a zillion things you can do. I'm showing you one or two of the simple things, again, because of the context. A teacher friend of mine has a PowerPoint banner at the bottom. It needs to be covered up. These are the same instructions, simply with different raw materials. Now, the last thing I want to do, I'm going to add a song. So, here we are. There's that. Now, you can see it's not the same length. So, I may add a second song or I may just add it again. Let's do that. Let's add it a second time. And then I'll shrink that second one. Cut it back down. Uh, actually, here, we'll do it this way. Scissors. Now I'm going to cut. I'll bring this back some. I'm going to cut this right about there. I'm going to try and cut this as well. Right there. Now let's see, cut that. Okay. Now I'm going to get rid of those, dump those. So, delete, delete, delete. You can see it's still a little bit off there. I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna call it good. So, let's zoom back out in time. Now, you can see I've got the song playing twice. It's a Mo Horizon song, which I, I may play for like half a second, <laughs> um, just so that you can hear it. But now I've got the song and my audio going at the same time. So let's look at the preview. And again, the preview is going to be even more jumpy simply because now I got more stuff in here. It's more intensive um, on the CPU, the memory, the GPU, so on. But let's try and do a quick preview, see how it looks and sounds. All right, so here we go. Next. Hey everybody, I wanted to show you a little project I'm working on. So this is called, uh, so you hear me and you hear the song. I want to get rid of me. I don't want to hear me, I don't want to see me. I'm terrible. So let's try this here. I can click on the video. Again, I'm going to bring this back to the beginning. I'm going to right click. I'm going to do volume, entire clip, 0%. No volume. The songs are going to play at their normal volume. Now, what I could do, I could have, for instance, my voice at 100% and the audio uh, of the song at, say, 60%. And then it becomes background music. But I don't want to hear myself. I want just the song. So let's have another look. Let's see. And you see there, sorry for the dogs, by the way, you get an extra soundtrack in this video. Uh, but you see, you hear there that now I'm not involved. All you get is the song. So at this point, as far as I'm concerned, the video is ready to be made. I've got a picture covering up my signature, which is just my sort of dumb YouTube thing. I got some pretty flowers covering up my ugly face uh, because, you know, I like to make videos this way. But let's say I want to get rid of it because you know, for whatever reason, whoever I'm sending this to or whatever purpose, uh, it has, I, I can't use that. And now I've added a song to it. So now I would just export it. So click the red button, choose your settings, which uh, the original video here would have been in 1080p, 30 frames per second, I believe, but let's double check. Where is it right here? In your properties, details, 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second. Okay, so why don't we stick with that? It's set at 720.30, but I can go to 1080p30, browse, desktop, select folder,
and then hit export and it starts doing its thing and you can see the number of frames per second it's going and how long it's going to take and you know again this is only a five minute video I'm not going to sit here and let it run the whole way through but you can see it's taking five minutes now that's with my hardware your hardware is probably better mine is nearly a decade old little more a little less whatever um, but it, it's good for what I use it for uh, but that gives you an idea now when it's done it will be an mp4 with h264 codec uh, I forget the audio that it uses by default I think mp3 but you can change the audio and you can change the video codec by clicking on advanced here if you don't know anything about it just leave it as mp4 and then that way all you really have to select is video profile you can change quality but I wouldn't leave it at high storage space is cheap and that's the thing to remember if you go to say 720p 30 frames per second it's going to be a smaller file but it's compressed and the quality is lower if you go to 1080p 60 frames per second it's a larger file but better if you have a lot of motion uh, in your video and so on so that's something for you know a discussion for another day the point was just to go over some simple editing techniques some simple transformations adding a song and so on and I'm going to cancel this because I don't need this video and that's about it hopefully this helps somebody out leave a comment if you got questions and um, yeah. enjoy <laughs>